So today, I'm going to finally be building my false water cobra, a new big reptile enclosure. So, I'll show you what he's got as of right now. Right now, he has a five foot wide, 18 inch deep, and 18 inch tall enclosure. Uh, I have seen people put them in small enclosures. I wouldn't recommend it, personally. Uh, so I'm going to give him a much larger enclosure since these snakes, although they are not very big, they move around a lot, a lot, a lot. So I think it's very appropriate for me to give him a large enclosure that he deserves. So I'm going to give him the entire width of this uh, reptile enclosure setup. So that's going to be eight feet wide and I'm gonna go 24 inches deep and 18 inches tall. So he will be gaining, I calculated it out, and it will be uh, a little over twice the amount of surface area on the ground. So I'm really excited about that. It'll even give me uh, a better temperature gradient, especially that'll be easier for me uh, in the summertime to keep uh, his temperatures proper. And then he won't be all cooped up and just pacing back and forth. I even built this little, uh, I'm gonna open it up. I call it the snake loft. You can go up here and it's got a little lip on here so you got bedding in here and everything. But he goes up there and crawls up and down, back and around. Like, I, I gotta give him a full size enclosure. So, that's what, well, honestly, that's what I did. Uh, I've already been building it. I decided to spare everybody from the whole, you've seen, if you've watched any of my YouTube videos, then you know what it looks like when I'm building an enclosure. So I built the main structure already in the front half, so, I'll, Let's just go in the garage now. To the garage! Dun da da da! A rectangle. It's flipped on its back right now. This is the back. And I've already made the front trim. It's a little rectangle right there with the piece in the center, the center support. Oh, Kane's come out to approve. What do you think, buddy? Do you approve? Yes? Okay. Go over there and sniff that area if you approve. Oh yeah, he approves, all right. All right, so it's actually been a few days. I've been pretty busy with some Black Friday sales, but I did get all my vinyl tiles, the two sets of large air vents, and then I just cut my flooring for the enclosure. So now, uh, move on to the next steps. Speaking of Black Friday sales, thank you to everybody that participated. The Black Friday sale is over, of course, if you're watching this video. But uh, yeah, everybody who uh, follows me on Instagram saw that I was having a Black Friday sale because that's where I do all of my social media stuff on a daily basis. If you want to see what I'm doing, uh, almost pretty much every day I post at least multiple things on my story. Uh, you'll definitely be updated pretty often. So these are all the snake hooks that are going out uh, today, and then uh, I also have a bunch of uh, sweatshirts and t-shirts that went out, so thank you everybody that participated. I hope you love your new snake hooks and t-shirts and sweatshirts. Awesome. Oh, really cool, but I did sell out of all of my mini snake hooks. That was about two weeks of me making those, so I'm really excited. I know everybody would want mini snake hooks that much, so it means I need to make some more. Dun da da da! It's all, well, the stain's finished. Let me get run down. Who's finished the last coat of polyurethane to go on here? So it's all protected. Are really good. Just need to order glass and then we can get to the fun part of installing this thing. So, this is a definite 
jump into the future for me. For you, no, because you just saw the last clip, but it's actually been uh, a little over a week and a half. I ordered glass a week and a half ago, and I ordered a bunch of glass because I got a lot of uh, enclosures sitting around my house, or actually in my living room right now. And uh, they're piling up pretty much everywhere, even in the garage. Which is a great, it's a, it's a fantastic thing. But the glass company is a little bit slow for the, from the holidays. So uh, I finally have the glass for this enclosure, so I'm super excited. I just gotta make a couple of cuts, and then this enclosure will have glass. Uh, but uh, as of last week, I do have this. It's not a do-it-yourself reptile enclosure kit. It's a complete reptile enclosure kit. This one is 36 inches wide, 18 inches deep, 18 inches tall. It comes with dual front opening sliding glass doors. It comes with a lock and an air vent. So this one comes with a clear waterproof sealant and uh, all the holes are pre-drilled for my heat bulb kits or if you wanna run some other kind of heating and lighting inside the enclosures. That's obviously up to you, but these are on my website, TalkingSurface.com, if you're interested. And then uh, this enclosure probably go up this week. This one is 48 inches wide, 24 inches deep, and 18 inches tall. It's going to come with glass, an air vent, oh, a lock, of course. And uh, yeah, this one is a do-it-yourself reptile enclosure kit, so that is gonna be a new option. And then in this room where I keep my venomous snakes, uh, this is an arboreal enclosure. It is 36 inches wide, 36 inches tall, and 24 inches deep. This is the do-it-yourself reptile enclosure kit. It comes with glass, of course, a lock, a large air vent, all the holes that are already pre-drilled for the heating and lighting to go in the enclosure. And uh, that will be on my website, TalkingSurface.com, very shortly as well. Probably, probably today. So I've been packaging up enclosures, and uh, I said some things on Instagram, and I packaged up uh, the three-foot uh, arboreal enclosure, and within 30 minutes, came okay, within 30 minutes, the enclosure is sold. So I gotta ship this thing out. It's actually going to one of my previous customers. His name is Kenneth, and uh, he does a, has a really good YouTube channel uh, about drones. So if you're into drones, um, I will put the his channel name right there, and uh, you can go check that out. But uh, thank you, Kenneth, that you're watching this. I appreciate it. And uh, he's actually bought uh, a 36 inch wide, 18 inch deep, 18 inch tall reptile enclosure. And uh, he did a really good job putting the whole thing together. He sent me some pictures and videos and it came out phenomenal. So I can't wait to see what this one looks like. So I got all the enclosures all packaged up, ready to go. Now I can get back to working on this. This thing's all finished with the glass. Now I'm putting heat bulb kits. So I'm gonna be putting a heat bulb kit in the center for a nice ambient temperature and then one on the right side. So, all right, let's get that done. Get, get to work, Kyle, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey! No! This is taking advantage of me. I only got one hand. I'm trying to screw something and get out of here. No! This is not the proper time to play. Get out of here. No! Help me! Stop! Get out of me! Ah! Oh. Stop! Can't nobody. <laughs> the caulking is just about cured. It's been about an hour and the electrical's all ran so the enclosure is ready to go in the reptile room. But uh, I thought I should mention this. This is this little sneak peek for something that's gonna be going on my website uh, very soon. Uh, this one is six feet wide, two feet deep, and two feet tall. This is a complete reptile enclosure kit. This one comes with black exterior paint, white waterproof sealant, um, a couple spots for a heat bulb kits to go into or whatever heating element you wanna put inside it. It will be coming with all the glass and a pair of locks. And uh, yeah, it'll be pretty much ready to go. You just assemble it, and uh, yes, this will be shippable. 
So stay tuned for a future release date. Got everything taken out of the cabinets. Just working on the last bit of electrical. And uh, temporarily down there, blah, blah, blah. So I spared you from all the stuff that, uh, that's not very fun. So away with you, cabinet. So this is my least favorite part, taking off this top enclosure where my uh, bow constrictor's at. And uh, it's my least favorite because my wife's not incredibly strong, but she did get up there with me the first time, so you can do it one time, you can do it again. All right, let's, let's do this. Oh, you so strong, strong like bull. That was easy, getting it up the hard part. Well, uh, not for everybody. Sometimes you just need the blue pill to get it up. <laughs> Ta-da! The hard part is now over. All I have to do is the fun part, which is filling it up with all the decor, the bedding, and introduce this snake to it, which is obviously going to be my favorite part. Ferris's enclosure was kind of a part anyways. I decided to clean the whole thing, and it makes more sense since uh, things are already in pieces, so I to put them back. I've got everything laid out on the inside of the enclosure. I'm gonna put the, for now, I'm gonna put the water bowl on the left side. Got a little, I got another water bowl in the middle. That will kind of act as uh, going under the heat bulb and uh, should evaporate some water, create some more humidity in there. But I will be adding two humidity gauges in there and then I will be putting uh, a thermometer right here and another one right here. Let's fill this thing up with some bedding. In three, two, one. And just like that, got a bunch of bedding in there. I don't know about you, but I love the way aspen bedding smells. Technically any bedding is, so it smells very natural. I always love walking in this room and it just smells like uh, bedding. Unless the snake takes a dump. Then it, 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 it doesn't smell like bedding, nope. Mm -hmm. So this is what I'm gonna do for now. I'll probably change it as I go on. Um, I would like to get some little climbing structures in there. Nothing too crazy, because it doesn't climb too much, but I will definitely add some branches in there, and uh, I don't know, we'll see what happens in the future. So there's only one thing left to do. That's right, time to go get the snake. house and uh, if you do see his eyes and uh, yeah he's a little defensive right now he is in shed so he won't be able to uh, enjoy his enclosure as uh, as much as he would if he uh, he could see a little better but well, well when he comes out of shed he'll really enjoy it all right come on some lighting in here. You see his beautiful blue eyes. He's super milky. Especially on the bottom, you see his, his belly. He looks awesome. Even in shed, he looks amazing. Alright, to your new house! Alright. Here you go, sir. This is all yours.
is the second water bowl. It's kind of going around smelling everything. He's like, some of this wood smells familiar, and then some of it doesn't. Oh yeah. He's finally got a nice big house that he deserves. I mentioned it in past videos, but I was told um, before I got this snake that they could be uh, housed in a four foot wide, two foot deep enclosure permanently as an adult, but these snakes move so much. So much energy, very fast metabolism. So they're always moving and he absolutely deserves this eight foot wide, two foot deep enclosure. It is twice, more than double the, uh, the surface area of his last enclosure. Yeah, it makes me so happy to see this. Well, he seems like he's thoroughly enjoying his enclosure. He's doing the notorious uh, snake burrowing. Oh. He's like, what the heck was that? Where's my hand? He's like, I can't see! <laughs> He's like, everything smells amazing in here. Is this my new house? Is this, is this my new house? I'll take it. He's been reunited with his favorite thing. The water bowl, AKA the snake swimming pool. Awesome. Well, do you like it? Give me a tongue flicker for yes. Yeah, he likes it. All right. If you like the video, strike that like button. If you have any comments, post in the comment section below. Please do subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.